Okay, so when we use threading, there is a very famous um, problem which is called the last update or the race condition. Let's just give an example about what this case is. Let's say the last update will be um, we have a current account uh, for balance for Carol, which is having $50 over there. And we would like to do two transactions, one from uh, the transaction A from Alice would like to transfer, let's say, $50 to um, Carol. And at the same time, Bob would also like to transfer another like $100 to Carol at the same time because we are running in parallel. So we need to uh, control this one. So uh, something happens like this, the um, Alice transaction is going to ask, so what is your balance? then it's read the balance at 50, okay? And at the same time, Bob run its uh, transaction and I what is your balance as well. It's also read the current uh, current balance at 50 as well. Then after that, Bob um, update the balance at the, do the calculations and um, several other things and at the uh, balance at 150. And then on this side, Bob also um, add uh, the balance uh, to 50 as well. So when we, um, after that, um, Alice updates it um, transaction. So uh, the account balance for Carol will be 150. But right after that, both does update as well and just override that um, private result and um, write the result 100. So this one is not a correct one because um, Alice transfer fifty dollars, okay, and um, sorry one hundred dollars, and both would like to add fifty dollars. So the total net effect should be two hundred and fifty, but in this case it's, it's last one update, so it's last one hundred dollars of here. That one is the called the um, race conditions, or this one is the last update issues. Okay, so uh, let me simulate this issues in um, threading. So we want to see that. So we're going to use this one and this one we're going to say under race condition. Then we're going to, um, let's say, import um, um, from um, concurrent futures um, three, import three tall executor. Okay, um, if, if you don't understand what thread pool executor is, please check my um, previous email, oh sorry, um, video. And this one we're going to uh, define a class, that one is um, account, let's say, and um, we're going to have the initial balance as um, initial balance. And we do sub dot balance equal to initial balance, okay, for that person. Then we're going to also define a method, which is the transaction. And that transaction we're going to give, or just say update, then, I mean, it's, yeah, let's say transaction. Um, it's going to do a transaction on this with a name and a new value. Then in this transaction, we're going to um, um, read the value. So we say a local value, local value equal to um, sub dot balance, local balance, let's say. Okay. Then you're going to print out that um, the name. Uh, read the balance as the local balance over here. After that, we um, and say um, and is doing um, calculation. Let's say it's gonna do some task, some job here uh, to then update it. So we're going to uh, let's say we do um, at, we simulate this one by doing like import time over here and then I'm gonna say okay time dot sleep let's say it's gonna take 
one second to do the calculation. Okay, then you do the um, update. Okay, uh, print no, no, print just do the update set dot value set dot balance and place equal um, values. So because you need to um, just do not do that, just equal to local values place the values. Okay, local balance. Sorry. Okay, and you print out. Um, name update the balance as um, take separate balance. Okay, then complete the transaction. Then we're gonna in the main. Okay, we're going to try to um, create to transaction so let's say transactions equal to two transaction for a and for b and one going to transfer uh, 50 dollars and another one to um, going to one going to transfer 100 dollars let's say another one going to add 50 dollars okay so we have two um transaction this way so now if we um, would like to execute this in parallel using let's say three pool executor so we'll use with um, three pool executor uh, max worker equal to two as executor so if you don't know about three pool executor and how to pass parameters to it uh, just check my previous um, video in this um, playlist you will know it okay so this case we're going to use this executor dot map on uh, what map oh we need to create an account first so we're going to create an account ac equal to account and um initial balance is 50 so i can print out i can print out um initial balance is ac dot um, balance okay then we implement this two transaction here and i'm gonna map ac dot transaction okay and i'm gonna map it to um, i'm gonna map it to the transactions there okay then when we run this two transaction done, we're gonna print out final balance after two transaction is okay, and you can take AC dot balance. Okay, so if we run this. Okay, if we run this, you can see that the initial balance is 50. Then A read the balance as 50 and is doing the calculation. At the same time, B read the balance as 50 as well and is doing calculation again. Uh, right after that, A updated the balance as 150. And B updated the balance as 100. So this 150 is lost. This update is lost. It's only take the finer balance as 100 over here. This one is there. Okay, so this one is called the raise condition because the two are raising for the resource, or um, it is called as loss update as well. Okay, and one of the simplest issue to uh, way to overcome this one is to use lock. There are several ways of using um, locks, but we'll, well, in this case, we'll demonstrate the exclusive locks. Okay which is the um, python lock in this case so we're going to import import um threading okay then over here we're going to create a lock for the resource so set dot uh, lock equal to um threading dot lock okay then um then before doing uh, this kind of update transaction 
we need to lock on the resources first okay before doing this before doing this we need to um lock on the resources first so you can do a sub dot lock okay so with sub dot lock this one will help you to acquire it and close it when we are done okay with sub dot uh, lock then in this case um then in this case if you lock it okay and when you run it okay the initial balance is 50 uh, then a read the balance at 50 then a update it at 150 then b read the balance at 150 and is concluding doing the calculation then b updated the balance at 200 so the net effect is adding 150 in total in two transactions so that one is the correct calculation over here that one is the correct calculation over here okay there is another a uh, notice that if you use the locking in a wrong way okay if you use the locking in the wrong way let's say if you only lock if you only lock at this step um, because uh this one because a lot of people think okay so reading is safe so just let them read freely we only have to lock when we write okay or update the data so if you use lock this way okay it's still the the, the issue won't still happen so i can read b also read there okay and you still have the loss update issue so this one is the problem with um if you use um locking only at the um read phase but then you still have the write phase after that Okay, but if both only read, then that should be fine. But in this case, you have write or the update over there. So the lock should be in the, for the both phases. So this one is like something like two phase locking. But just simply we are using um, lock over here, um, exclusive lock over here. So it should work this way. So just to demonstrate that uh, how this well, so if our problem wants us to go with the um, preventing update, okay, so this is, so we start again, transition A, but before, um, before that, you're going to add for lock first, okay, then you say, okay, uh, you have the lock for the balance on A, then you can read it, okay, then you can read the data, then um, B add for the lock, and because this one is A is have, still having the lock, so it won't tell B to wait. Okay. Then um, A do the balance calculations here. Then A update it first, 250. Then A now release the lock. Okay, release the lock. When A release the lock, B can, uh, can uh, restart and act for the lock. Okay. Then B has a lock on the balance. Then it can read now the balance at 150. Okay, it does its calculation. Then it updates. So the net effect now is 200. And this problem, uh, and it's released the uh, balance. And now the problem is solved. Okay, now the problem is solved. Okay. That one is what happened. Okay.